It's early days, but I suspect that will be good enough to get him into the final. Always advantageous, though, for you to be able to run in the latter heats when you do have a qualification by time because you know what your target is going uh, into the next round. Although it's probably better when you're running the 800 and the 1500 when you can pace yourself. Well, you can, yeah, you can, you can gauge it a little bit better. Yeah, a lot more difficult at 400. I rather suspect the officials will be hard at work during the break after the morning session, getting uh, this starting pistol sorted out. Make sure that we have smooth running this afternoon. It's been very uncomfortable for the athletes throughout the course of the morning, starting in fact with the first event, the Heptathlon Girls 100 meter hurdle. Well, they would have had uh, some issues with the blocks initially, and then we've had uh, several problems with the gun. On your marks. So it looks as if we're ready to go again. There's oh. Javon Pinnock of Jamaica, fastest in the field at 46.84. He's the favorite for this second heat. His teammate, Marcinia Rose, already through. Stand. Javon Pinnock, like a few other Jamaicans you'll see over this weekend, no longer in the high school system back home. He works with the new era track club, led by the husband of Elaine Thompson Hira, Darren Hira. And the Pinnock has gone quite well this season. There's also Javon Dunkley in the 100 meters, who is at elite performance, which is led by Ronaldo Walcott. And Walcott coaches both Shelley and Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson here. Great to have options, and uh, certainly that is the case for a number of young uh, Jamaicans. On they your marks. can go into the club system in Jamaica, and go on to GC Foster, and of course, many of them have the option to head over to the United States where there are a number of scholarships available. The Barbadian Kishon and Niles has done that as well, come across to Jamaica at the University of Technology. Sir? Off they go for this second heat in the under 20 boys 400. Simons of Bermuda in lane number eight flew onto the blocks and is hammering the back stretch at this stage. He is really flying like a scared air on the outside. The Trini moving through as well beautifully is Lezama, 47-92 man. Pinnock takes his time to ease into battle as they make their way off the top bend. Pinnock of Jamaica, Lezama of Trinidad and Tobago, Del Pesh of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That's the big three. Only the winner guaranteed a spot in the final. The Jamaican playing around, steps forward. It's going to be close at the line. But it's Pinnock who gets there first, 49-01. Nowhere as close to as fast as what we got in the first heat. Pinnock qualifies automatically. And that means that the Grenadian, Peterkin, is still the fastest non-automatic qualifier with his 47-92 personal best. 49-08 for Javon Pinnock of Jamaica. He gets through qualifying. Gardner, Clark and Orville, however, may be a little bit frightened. Um, certainly uh, Clark and Orville, 49.71, 49.89. Pretty close uh, for those athletes in uh, 2, 3 and 4. You saw Lazama there as well as Del Pesh and uh, Theodore. Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and uh, St. Lucia. Theodore looks as though he may just have pipped Del Pesh at the line. So those times are going to be interesting. 49.08, 49.71, are the real bubble times, I would say. Uh, Ricardo, uh, 47.92 uh, should be, say, 49.13. Uh, yeah, 49.134, Lizama Del Pesh, 49.25. 
Well, you're not seeing Theodore coming up on the results, but uh, he was in that cluster at the end. Number two. 